understanding the four types of blood groups, we want to understand what would happen if one type of blood mixes with the other type of blood and this happens during two situations. It could be during blood transfusion or it could be from the mother to the fetus and that is considered as ABO incompatibility. So ABO incompatibility we will discuss separately. Here we are talking of what would happen if one type of blood mixes with the other. Where we talk of donors like blood donation, a person takes transfusion during surgeries or uh, during some kind of accident when they are excessive bleeding. So why we are using the terms like universal donors and universal recipients? That is the thing that which we want to understand first. If an individual, we, have, we will take a couple of situations to understand. Say in this situation, the donor is having blood group A and the recipient has blood group O for example. Now, what is the donor giving? The donor is giving blood group A. That means the blood which enters into the recipient's body, this is the recipient, is RBC which is having antigen A. We are talking about this is the donor, A blood group person, donates the blood and the recipient's blood group is O. So what type of RBCs are present in the recipient's blood? The recipient is having RBCs without any antigen because this is having genotype IOIO. IO. It is a recessive one. So there is no antigen produced but the plasma of the recipient has anti-A and anti B. So now when this RBC of donor's blood enters into the recipient's body with an antigen A, this antibody A is going to destroy or react with this antigen A. So there would be antigen antibody reaction and because of this these RBCs would get ruptured and this would result into mild anemia or it can also cause mild jaundice. Sometimes these reactions may get little uh, severe or complicated and then those are to be dealt with in a different manner. So we have taken one situation where the donor is having blood group A and the recipient is having blood group O. So if we talk about the recipient the RBCs of the recipient are without any antigen but the plasma has anti-A and anti-B that is antibodies. As soon as this enters, this blood enters, it is bringing antigen A. So there would be reaction between antibody A and antigen A and few RBCs would get destroyed. So here we will write few RBCs would get destroyed due to this antigen antibody reaction. We will take the same situation in a reverse manner. So this is our situation 2. Here we said the recipient is having blood group O and the donor is having blood group A. Now here we will take that the recipient, so here donor is going to have blood group O and the recipient has blood group A. So this is the recipient's body. What would be there in the recipient's body? RBCs with antigen A. Antigen A. What would be in the plasma of this person? The plasma would have anti B. Because antigen is its own and antibody is A for its self-defense. What comes in is blood group O. That means RBCs without any antigen. But because the blood is coming along with it, some plasma will also come. So what would be coming here is anti-A 
and anti B. So there would be a mild reaction between this anti A and antigen A. So antibody of the plasma would react with the antigen A or the RBC. These reactions, because the blood which is coming in is very less in volume, it is given in units. So, uh, like 100 milliliters or smaller quantities. So, this plasma which comes in is having few antibodies and that's why the reaction is going to be even milder. Milder reactions. Again, there would be antigen antibody reactions, but the reactions are going to be very, very mild because the antibodies which are coming in, they would react with this very less. When antigen comes in, then the reactions are more severe as compared to when the antibodies are coming. So O can be given and that is why when we talk of universal donors, we talk of O blood group as universal donor. So O is taken as universal donor. Up till now, we have not talked about RH blood group or RH on the RBC. That is, if a person is O positive or negative. When we come to that RH, we'll realize that it is also an antigen. And if that antigen is present on the RBC, the person's blood group would be positive, irrespective of AB, AB or O. And if that RH is not there, then it is going to be recessive. So here, we will simply write that it is O negative which is considered as universal donor. The reason is a person who has O negative blood, that means RBCs without antigen A, without antigen B and there is no RH. So here antigen A, B and RH all are absent. And that is why it is not going to create any kind of complication when it comes into the recipient's body. So this is considered as a donor. Now if we talk about the recipient, then AB blood group, AB positive would be considered as a recipient. What would be on the RBC of this person's blood? The RBC would have antigen A, antigen B and RH. That means everything, all three types of antigens are its own. So whether it brings the blood which is coming in, brings antigen A, it is like its own. If it come, brings blood group B, it is like its own. And if it is positive, then also it is like its own. So there is nothing which is non-self. And that is why AB positive are considered as universal recipients and plus and minus signs indicate presence or absence of RH antigen. This is antigen RH. Absent here, present here. So when we talk of blood transfusions, a donor and a recipient, these kind of situations take place and all these reactions are due to uh, antigen antibody reaction. Antigen antibody of A are not those uh, serious kind of uh, reactions and that's why in almost all the cases we find mild reaction but to be on the safer side O negative is the universal donor and this is universal recipient. So the best possible option would be if a person with blood group A positive needs blood the best option is give that person A positive. So there is absolutely no complication but in case if A positive is not available then this is the second option though there would be a milder uh, reaction because though it is O negative it is having its own antibodies in the plasma so those antibodies will bring about milder reactions so best is same blood group transfusions but if that situation is somehow not possible then this blood group should be considered as the second best option and that is because they are universal donors. Now in the next segment, we'll talk about ABO incompatibility. That is when the mother is having a different blood group and the fetus growing in the womb 
is having a different blood group then what kind of complications may 